Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. It's Wednesday the 8th of November. In this video we're going to look at the charts on the US dollar versus the Japanese yen. I'll tell you straight away it's a mixed picture. We're going to see positive charts on the weekly and the daily um, but on the short term four hour chart there's signs of further weakness to come. So overall I would actually conclude that we should just watch this US dollar against Japanese yen at the moment and don't trade, wait for a more significant indi indications to come from the charts. Let's look at those charts. <music> So here we have the weekly, so each candle represents one week's trade. And you can see that we're trading above the moving averages, which is positive. Um, three weeks ago, we had a, a bullish cross as the 50 crossed the 200. And if we maintain the present levels, we are going to get the 20 crossing through both the 200 and the 50 in golden crosses uh, over the next month. The high this week has been above the high that was seen in July, uh, which is very good and um, is indicative that we should get more upside as we've now broken the pattern of lower highs. So the downtrend has now been broken and we should move into higher ground momentum starting to drift a bit. You can see the RSI rolling over but it's still above 50, uh, 57.46. So still showing that there is some, po some positive momentum on this weekly. And that's shown also by the MACD with the short term above the longer term. On the daily, um, again, you can see the break that we had on Monday. Um, it was a shame that, it, uh, that that day closed towards the low. Um, it wasn't an engulfing candle uh, doji, uh, but it was disappointing that we were that it closed on the low. Um, and then today we're below. We've, we're looking like we're going to close below that previous low, um, and it could be an engulfing picture today, which would be indicative that we are going to test this support from the rising 20-day moving average, which is at 113 spot 40. That. Um, that high on the 6th of November does become resistance um, and we need to get back above there quite quickly to confirm the uh, the break. RSI is still above 50, 54.74 but again is starting to create a downtrend so you need to watch that. And on the MACD, although you can't see it here, the short term, I can confirm, is below the longer term. So in some people would actually class that as a sell signal at the moment as they're starting to diverge to the downside. Looking at the four hour, um, here the picture's deteriorated a bit more. You can see we've moved back below the moving averages. They're both moving down. Um, as long as we stay below them, we're going to see the 20 do a bear cross as it crosses through the 50. Uh, that would then see the support down at the 113 level and the rising 200 average tested. Uh, uh, RSI indicative of negative momentum, 42 spot four and in a downtrend. Likewise, the MACD have moved back below zero now, short term below the longer term and indicative of negative momentum. Looking at the support resistance, um, there's that resistance from the high 6 of November 114 spot 74 then at 115 spot 19 with support from the 50 of the 4 hour 113 spot 86 and 113 spot 28. Thanks for watching the video. The key takeaways on USD JPY should be uh, we're still marginally in favor of the dollar, uh, but the four hour chart is becoming a concern. Uh, positive momentum has been lost on that short term and is being lost on the daily. 
needs to get back above 117 spot four and we just need to watch the chart thanks for watching this video please remember these videos are for information only and are my opinion and they're not meant as an investment recommendation Thank you.